Okay, last example. 54 and 36. Again, these numbers are a little big, so you can just think of, of a small common factor. Uh, these are both even numbers, so I know that a 2 goes into both of them. I can just take that 2 out, okay? Now, 54 divided by 2 is 27, and 36 divided by 2 is 18, okay? Now, for this one, if you pull out another example, okay, you can, you'll still get the same answer. So, for example, a 6 goes into both of these numbers. So, if you take out a 6, then your numbers are going to be different than mine, but it'll st you'll, we'll still get the same answer, okay? So, from these two numbers, 27 and 18, I know that a 3 goes into both. So, 27 divided by 3 is 9, 18 divided by 3 is 6, okay, 9 and 6, they do have a common factor, so I have to do this one more time, and their common factor is 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. From these two numbers, 3 and 2, their common factor is 1, that means I can take all the numbers on the side, not the bottom numbers, only the side, and I'm going to multiply them out. So the GCF is going to be 3 times 3 times 2. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So the GCF, the greatest common factor between 54 and 36 is 18. And uh, that was a lesson for greatest common factor. Thank you for watching educator.com.